Hello, good afternoon, everyone. This is Austin Thompson with Thompson Management Consulting, and I am back with you. It's been a while since I have uh, produced one of these videos and engaged you uh, with one of my informational videos on various aspects of growing your small business, growing and managing your small business. But, you know, things have been busy. I've been out here trying to make things happen. And, um, of course, with any entrepreneur and um, with anyone who's out here trying to navigate the rough the rough seas of small business development you know i've been out here trying to do different things and implement different things in the small business community as well as with all of the other uh initiatives and activities i'm involved in but i'm glad to be back i'm glad to be engaging you again and this time i am here with several recommendations for resources that every entrepreneur should have when starting a small business. Now I know, I know, you know everything. We all like to think that we know everything. We all would like to think that, you know, we can answer all of our own questions, but sometimes we can't. And even as a small business consultant and advisor, as I am, and mentor to early, to early uh, upstarts and early uh, early life cycle entrepreneurs, <clears throat> even I have to seek consultation and, and try to get answers to questions that I have because, hey, believe it or not, I don't know everything. And I don't like to pretend that I know everything because you know what they say, when you think you have all the answers, you really don't know anything, you know? So the, so the number one thing that I would like to recommend for every entrepreneur starting a small business, and this is what I recommend to my clients, have a CPA. Have a licensed uh, certified public accountant who would help you in um, understanding the tax advantages, the advantages and disadvantages, and the tax liabilities of your small business. Now this is very important because again, don't think that you can understand or you will undertake the, the, um, the initiative or the activities of doing your own taxes, your own small business taxes. Let the experts do it. Let the experts handle it. Um, a certified public accountant is an expert in his or her field of tax preparation, dealing with the IRS, and also they can advise you on the tax advantages of uh, establishing a corporation whether you wish to uh, 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 establish a, 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 a C corporation or an S corp, um, whether you wish to um, establish an LLC, limited liability company, they would actually tell you and advise you on the advantages and disadvantages of each uh, business model. So you definitely want to structure your business well and in structuring your business well, and understanding the tax advantages and your, your responsibilities to the IRS, definitely seek a certified public accountant. Also, uh, the, the next important thing, the next important resource you should have is an attorney. A licensed attorney, licensed in the state in which you are set up to do business. And now, <clears throat> I, I, again, don't try to be your own attorney. <laughs> don't think that you understand the legal responsibilities of a small business. No, 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 no. Even I, I, I get a lot of people come to me with, with text, uh, questions about taxes, questions about litigation and, and um, the, the legal structures and so on and so forth. And I always tell them, I said, I am not an attorney, I'm not a CPA. Definitely um, seek an attorney, a licensed attorney, okay? An attorney that's licensed in the state in which you're doing business. Now, for instance, you want to set up, you want to, you want to establish a company, right? You want to establish a business. Now, you don't know whether it should be an LLC. You don't know whether it's, you should incorporate as a, a C corp or an S corp. Which one of those structures will be best for you? Uh, from a legal standpoint, you have the tax, you have the the, the the advantages, the disadvantages from a tax standpoint, right? Dealing with the IRS, that's what the CPA handles, and the legal. Um, um, uh, benefits, the legal advantages and disadvantages. So you definitely want to make sure just as you seek a CPA, seek a, as you seek a certified public accountant, not somebody who dabbles in taxes, but a certified public accountant, 
seek a licensed attorney, someone who's licensed in the state in which you're doing business. The, the next person I, the next uh, um, person or advisor or consultant that I strongly recommend is someone who is skilled in web development. Don't do your own websites. Trust me, you, you, you don't want to be a jack of all trades when you start your business, when you're, when you're launching your enterprise, and you, you definitely want to be a strong brand in your marketplace. You want to be a business, you want your business presence and your brand to be sharp, robust, professional, and admirable. You want, you want when people are viewing your website, you want them to be in awe with the content and the way your, 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 your website, the way your site is designed. So definitely seek a web developer, especially one who understands how to uh, develop your analytics, your, S, your search engine optimization, so this way you are searchable on Google. You want to be searchable on Google. You want to be on that first page. Like for instance, if you are a baker, and I live in the Metro Atlanta area, and when I type in in Google, Baker, Metro Atlanta, you want your business to be one of the businesses that, that show up on that first page, okay? So you want your, your, your business to be searchable, you want your analytics, you wanna understand how many people are coming to your site, how much time they're spending on your site, how many times they're, they're clicking through the various pages on your website. So you want a web developer or a web designer who understands the mechanics of a website, of designing you the most robust website that you can have to be successful as, a, as an entrepreneur, okay? Because your website is your, your brand in the, in the online, on, on, on the, on, in the, um, the your, for your online presence, your, your website is your brand and it's, it's a window into your business, okay? The, the other thing, someone who, uh, an IT, um, an IT consultant, someone who can actually advise you on the best, um, uh, best technology for your business, the best phone service, best uh, wireless services for your business. And also going back to the web designer, um, someone who understands digital marketing. Digital marketing understands Facebook and Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, the various you know, digital platforms and how to you know, basically how to get the best bang for your buck, man, because what you want to do is to ensure that you're maximizing all of your opportunities in getting your brand out in the marketplace, your market, your, your market, your target market, all your, your potential customers and clients, your prospects, they see you and they understand what you're doing. They know who you are. You have a presence in the marketplace and you're able to reach people. Again, in marketing, I always say, if no one knows you exist, how can they do business with you, right? So you definitely want a web designer that, that can sit down with you and discuss all those things with you. So this way, your brand, your presence is as sharp and, and noticeable um, on, the digital, on, on various digital platforms, all right? Um, you also, you know, would want to entertain a, a, a financial advisor, okay? As you start to generate uh, revenue and you, you, you start to generate a salary from your business, you want to be able to, so you're no longer working, right? You're no longer, you're not collecting a W-2. It's all about 1099s and it's all about, you know, your 1040s with, with your Schedule C. You know, this is how you file your taxes. You're no longer doing a W-2. So what you, when you, you know, when you're working full time, right? You know, when you, you, you set aside about five to 10% of your income, your company, you know, will match you know, that percentage that you set aside for your 401k or your IRA. Well, you want to continue doing that as a business owner because you want to be able to invest in your retirement because you're not going to run that business forever, right? You're going to create a succession plan. You're going to have a plan to, 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 to transfer ownership of that business. Let somebody else run it as you retire in, in Maui or Hawaii somewhere, you know, in, in, in Costa Rica, off the beaches of Jamaica, you know, <laughs> you know, and when you go off and retire, somebody else is running the business or you sold the business altogether, you know, you want to be able to have that retirement. So you want to be able to, to have that financial advisor who can advise you uh, successfully on, on your retirement. Now, um, 
a real estate agent, I th this is this is the thing, right? Now, if you're if you're going to establish your business in a bricks and mortar, right? Depending upon the type of business model you have, depending upon the type of business you establish, right? Because not all businesses have a bricks and mortar. You might work from your home. You might work from a home office, right? You might work from a shared office space. Again, you know, depending upon the type of business you have. Some businesses will have a bricks and mortar into which you will have traffic flow, okay? You will have traffic flowing in, traffic flowing out, okay? Like a retail outlet, a restaurant, so on and so forth. If you are not renting that space, okay? If you are not renting that space, then you have purchased that space. So you will need a, com a commercial real estate agent, someone who is who has the expertise in commercial real estate and mortgage lending, right? Um, and, 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 and will help, you, help guide you, right, to, to purchasing that facility in which you will operate your business, okay? So you definitely want to have that real estate agent, you know, who is an expert in his or her field, all right, that can guide you along in purchasing that facility for your business, okay? The next thing um, would be a business advisor or a consultant, okay? Now that's, that's someone in my field, because I'm a business advisor, I'm a business consultant, I'm a small business consultant and a mentor, okay? Now, your small business consultants are those who you work with to help with your business planning, okay? Developing your business plan, understanding how to research the industry, how to do the proper economic research, the proper research for marketing, operations, and the financial analysis, okay, the quantitative part of your business plan that will help develop the actual document that will house the plan on how you're moving step by step by step by step in growing and developing your business, okay? So definitely um, a business advisor, a business advisor consultant, um, and have that person work with you. That person works along with you Right, so you work together in developing that plan for your business. Never, never, never go into business without having a plan. All right, whether it's a whether it's a business plan, a strategic plan, a, mar a marketing plan, it, depending upon where you are in your business. As as early startups, pre startups, you definitely want to have your business plan developed because when you're seeking financial um, uh, access to capital and financial uh, support, um, you know, lending. Uh, you're going to a bank or you're going to um, someone who can finance the, the startup capital that you need for your business, that startup capital is not getting lent to you without a business plan, okay? That startup capital that you need to launch your business successfully is, is not being lent to you without a business plan. So definitely make sure you seek a consultant and advisor that will help you in developing that business plan, okay? The, the other thing, last but certainly not least, an HR consultant. Now, why would I need an HR consultant? You might ask. You know, I'm opening the business. I don't have any employees. Um, I, 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 why would I need an HR consultant? Well, here, here's why you might need an HR consultant. Because if you are going to be an employee of your company, of your business, you're going to pay yourself a salary at some point, okay? You're going to need um, advisement on on how to you know develop that payroll process for yourself and develop that payroll process for your employees okay so the HR process the human resources process is very important uh, for small businesses whether you're a sole proprietor um, independent consultant uh, who, who, who is paying his or herself through the business or you have one employee two employees five ten fifteen fifty a hundred employees Definitely make sure that you're you're getting uh, someone who is um, in the HR field to help you uh, understand that process. Now, um, organizations, I usually like to recommend organizations that entrepreneurs should definitely leverage, definitely leverage the expertise of the SBA, the Small Business Administration. They have many programs and services that you will need, not only as a startup, not only as a startup, but as an existing business, as a business that's growing, where, um, whether you're growing successfully or whether you're you're at that point, you're struggling trying to get to that next point, okay? Definitely um, seek out the SBA. They have some wonderful programs for funding 
and um, they have preferred lenders, lenders that are preferred organizations, financial organizations that are registered and signed up with the SBA to definitely help you get the, the capital you need um, to fund your business operations, okay? So definitely leverage the SBA. Um, the SBDC, Small Business Development Center, okay? The Small Business Development Centers, uh, they provide expertise, they provide education, they provide workshops, they provide classes uh, on finance, on marketing, operations, HR, scaling a business, you name it, how to start a business, how to launch a business, how do I, how do I move from, from startup to growth, to expansion, to establishment, you know, and, and scale through the life cycle. They have all of these classes and workshops for you. They have the tools that you would need. They will sit there. Their advisors would sit down with you and, and, and definitely help you develop your business plan and help you develop uh, uh, whatever plans you need in order to grow successfully in your business. Okay, people, these tools are available to you. You know, area chambers of commerce. You know, I'm here in the Metro Atlanta area. We have a we have a slew of chambers. We have the Greater East Side Chamber. We have the Metro Atlanta Chamber. We have the Gwinnett Chamber, Cobb Chamber. You know, um, uh, the the Rockdale County Chamber. You name it. You know, if you live if you if you live in a county, there is a chamber in that county <laughs> before you to 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 have a DeKalb County Chamber. You know, if you're in New York, you have the New York Chamber, the, 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 the Man the, I think there's a Manhattan Chamber. You know, the, in, we have uh, chambers for various uh, uh, groups, uh, immigrant groups, like the Jamaican Chamber. You have the, the, the Georgia Haitian Chamber. You have the, the Korean Chamber, the Hispanic Chamber, um, the Latin American Chamber. So there are chambers, there are organizations Right, the Women's Chamber of Commerce. You have the, the, the Atlanta Black Chambers, right? So it doesn't matter wherever you are, there is a chamber, there is an organization for you to leverage, for you to contact, for you to visit, to get some sort of, of, of assistance in helping you launch your business successfully, or if you have already launched your business and you need to grow successfully, definitely leverage the services of these organizations, all right? And last but not least, SCORE. SCORE is an organization of retired executives. It's a voluntary org it's a, it's a, a organization of, of, of volunteers. They volunteer their time. These are retired executives with, with expertise in marketing, financial advisement, accounting, um, finance, in, in operations, in HR, you name it. Every aspect of growing your business, there is an expert. There is an expert, there is a subject matter expert to help you grow successfully. So there is no reason why, there is no reason why, yes, right, I'm giving you the finger wag. <laughs> there is no reason why you should not be growing your business successfully with all of these resources you have available to you, okay? So ladies and gentlemen, I wanna thank you again for tuning in. My name is Austin Thompson with Thompson Management Consulting, and I just love dropping these nuggets because I know there are business owners out there, there are entrepreneurs out there who are sitting around trying to figure out, try to figure it all by, out, you know, try to figure it all out on your own, try to figure it out all by themselves. But don't do this by yourself. Build a team. Build a team of experts. Build a team of people who know how to get you from one phase to the next phase. All right. It's all about scaling and scaling successfully. It's all about taking those, building in those necessary steps and then understanding what those steps are, right? Getting from point A to point B, from point B to point C, from C to D, and so on and so forth. But it all starts with business planning, okay? All right, so thank you so much for tuning in. This is Austin Thompson with Thompson Management Consulting, and we will be back again with some more information that will be dropped for you entrepreneurs and small business owners. Thank you very much. Have a great day.